the moment you realize you've been doing everything wrong your entire life. Oh, no. Well, at least deep divers, you know now. That's the good news. Breathe with me, deep divers. <sighs> Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Another gorgeous day. If you are watching this video, may a surprise blessing come your way this week. Look, there are things we do that we think they are perfectly normal. But what if I told you it's wrong? <gasps> Don't panic. 10 things that you've been doing wrong your entire life. Oh yes. Now this video might make you feel uncomfortable. This video will definitely inspire you to say, oh my gosh, why didn't I do that earlier? Not even the cat down the road, Deep Divers knows that raising the frequency. What are we doing today? Raising the vibration, sprinkling some good ass energy on you right now, deep divers. Take that. Take that. Just take all of it. So 10 things that you've been doing wrong your entire life. A lot of us, when we look around at this world, we start to realize that a lot of people do things just because their parents did it, their parents did it, their parents did it, but we don't know why we actually do them. <laughs> and they're wrong. <gasps> There's a better way to do everything. And when you know it, you now become your greatest version. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. I remember listening to a woman who was like, all we are supposed to be doing is making love and eating fruits. I can live with that. <laughs> Let me tell you this, deep divers. Nothing is more empowering when you realize that actually you might have this one wrong. You see, the art of living is relearning, is evolving, is leveling up. The first thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life? Take off your clothes, Ralph. Don't take off your clothes, Ralph. <laughs> Put your damn clothes back on, Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, you're naked again. Can someone get Ralph Smart some clothes? Because he's always on the beach, topless. What if I told you, deep divers, we were born naked? The rest is drag. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You were born naked. The rest is drag. Like when I, when I started to realize, deep divers, that I'm not even supposed to be wearing clothes. And that's why when, I, when I'm at the beach, when I'm strolling in the heart of nature, I'm literally butt naked. Not entirely, but I've got my shirt off. And a lot of people are like, no, put your clothes back on. I'm like, no. It feels better taking my clothes off. Ladies, free the nipple. Look, I'm also taking off my socks. You see, a lot of us, we were programmed in this matrix just to wear socks and shoes. But what if I told you that's wrong? You see, our ancestors were walking barefoot for a reason. They were a lot smarter than us. You see, when you walk barefoot on Gaia, on Mother Nature, you are actually healing yourself. It's called earthing. Now, disease is when you have an excess of positive ions. Earth's surface is full of negative ions. Therefore, when your crusty ass toes, your beautiful toes, sorry, <laughs> come into contact with Mother Nature, you are now healing yourself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So, try this out. 
Take your socks off. Plant your feet on Mother Nature. Plant your feet on the sand, on the soil. And I guarantee you, you are going to feel so much more healthier. Look at you go. <laughs> What's the second thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life? Sitting on the toilet. Pardon? Ralph, that's so natural to sit on the toilet. No, no. Deep divers. You see, a lot of people don't realize our ancestors never used to sit on the toilet. <laughs> they used to go to the bush. When you sit on the toilet, that's why a lot of people have hemorrhoids, constipation, because we're sitting at 90 degrees. But the truth of the matter is, it's healthier to squat instead of sit on the toilet. Pardon? Squat. Pardon? Squat. Your anal rectal angle is widened when you squat. Now we're at a 35 degree angle. Everything inside of you will come out beautifully because what goes in must come out. And I actually try this. Like back in the day when I was transitioning to go plant-based, I was having a lot of constipation and I'm like, hey, is it just because I'm sitting on the toilet? And someone recommended, they recommended to me, Ralph, start swatting. Swatting? Start squatting. Squatting? Yes. So that's what I did. I got up and I started to squat and it just came out like in a few seconds, right? And there have been studies all over the world about this, that people who squat instead of sit, have a better digestion. So, next time you have constipation or hemorrhoids or any of these things, it could be because you're sitting on the toilet. Try squatting, because now your anorectal angle widens and you're gonna have the best number two in your life. I just had to tell you that, okay? <laughs> What's the third thing that you've been doing wrong your entire life? Eating and drinking at the same time, seven day vegan challenge. I wake up every single day with a whole bunch of grapes in my mouth. <laughs> I've been plant-based, been a vegan for over 15 years. It's actually changed my life. It's changed my life. I feel younger. People are like, Ralph, you look 15. Oh, deep divers, you're so kind. Look, it's because I'm plant-based, but I always, used to eat and drink at the same time. Then I'm like, wait a minute, no species in nature, no species in nature does this at the same time. They either eat or they drink. They don't do both. But human beings, you know, we have to be extra. We're like eating, then drinking, then drinking, then eating all at the same time. Now, why is this wrong? You see, when you are drinking, and eating at the same time, you're actually diluting the hydrochloric acid in your body, therefore making it harder for the food to digest. Another thing we've been doing wrong tied into food is eating fruits after we eat a main meal. You see, what you eat first goes out of you. It's that simple. So therefore, we should be eating fruits first thing in the day because that will get digested quickly. It's that simple. And fruits actually contain water. You see, mother nature is so smart. <laughs> so try when you're eating, just eat. Wait two hours, then drink. And I guarantee you, your digestion is going to improve. Thank me later, deep divers. That chia seed porridge looks awfully delicious. Pass me some right now. Complete source of protein. Seven day vegan challenge. What's the fourth thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life. Faking it till you make it. You were told somewhere that you should fake it before you make it. Like you should stunt on the gram and show people how wealthy you are. Like you should take a selfie in front of a Ferrari, in front of a Ferrari car, a Lambo, right? Just so people can think that you're actually so wealthy, right? Don't fake it till you make it. Just make it. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see, I don't have time to flex on the gram to show you like cars and jewelry. Why? Because I'm too busy getting it in real life. Oh, yeah. 
You see, when you're truly manifesting, you don't have a desire to show people how wonderful your life is on Instagram all the time. Why? Because you're too busy living it. And you don't have to fake it either because you're actually living this life. And that's the difference. So I guarantee you, stop trying to fake it to make it. Just make it. Comprende? Fantastic. What is the fifth <laughs> thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life? It is this, believing everything the news tells you. Like a lot of people believe everything they see on the news. Even about this global pandemic. Like it must be true, Ralph, I heard it on the news. <laughs> what if I told you that it's called a new story for a reason? That's what it is. It's just a story written by journalists who may not have even been there but they're reporting on it. And the news isn't about telling you the truth. It's about ratings. It's about keeping you on your seat. It's entertainment as well. And this is why we've been told, we've been told so many lies about everything that's happening right now on the planet from the news, because the news is owned by the government. It has an agenda to not give us information, but to control the way we think. So, You've been doing that wrong. If you're always thinking everything you see on the news is real, you might want to put a big question mark and say, wait a minute. The tell lie vision, wait a minute. Tell lie vision, it tells lies to you visually. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So the solution is to learn how to become a researcher. Don't just get your information from the news. Get your information from all over the place and you will be a lot smarter. <laughs> but also from within yourself. Oh yes, what's the sixth thing that you've been doing wrong your entire life, your whole life, deep divers? Believing every song lyric is true. I remember watching MTV, MTV bass, listening to all of that music, thinking these artists actually lived this lifestyle because of the lyrics that were, that were coming out of their mouth. Then I realized, actually, everything in the music video was rented. But through their words, they created this illusion. And you've got to remind yourself, there are some beautiful singers, Lauren Hill, one of them. But a lot of the, the music right now, a lot of these artists, what they're telling you in their songs is not really the life they're living. It's all about how can I draw as much emotion out of you as possible. Some people are even faking it when it comes to music. So always have discernment every time you listen to a song to say, actually, this is a story from an artist, but it may not be true. It may be a publicity stunt. It may be because they want me to buy their next album which I'm not going to buy. Jokes, I'll support you, okay? What's the eighth thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life? It is this, deep divers. We're at number seven. Pay attention. <laughs> Opening your mouth running at the same time. I took PE, physical education, and I remember talking to my teacher back in the day and he's like, Ralph, never open your mouth when you're running. Why? Because when you open your mouth, your big mouth, you might say something stupid. <laughs> you are now allowing all foreign entities to come inside of your mouth, pollution, dust, also, your mouth can become dry. You get dehydrated quicker. But when you learn when you're running to breathe just through your nose, you close your mouth, your nose acts like a filter. It removes all of the toxins. And you can actually increase the oxygen content in your body in a very safe way. So try this, deep divers. Instead of like opening your mouth when you're exercising, just breathe through... Just breathe, just breathe through your mouth. No, no, no. 
Pay attention. Just breathe through your nose. You got it. <laughs> Just breathe through your nose. And I guarantee you, you are going to become fitter overnight. It's happened to me. Anytime I'm running, I'm not opening my mouth anymore. I'm just breathing. Wait a minute. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have you noticed, deep divers, I never do this. Oh, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I don't breathe through my mouth. I breathe through the, the nose. The good ass prana has to come, has to come through the nostrils. <laughs> What's the ninth? Pay attention. The eighth <laughs> thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life. Thinking this matrix is sweet, right? Thinking that this matrix is looking out for you. This matrix is a matrix designed to manipulate you, deceive you. Why do you expect someone who has been lying to you your entire life to tell you the truth right now? Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So a lot of the times we think that being born into a world, this world really cares about us. This matrix even cares about us. But like MJ said, all I really want to say is they don't really care about us. They don't care about you. So therefore, we've got to remind ourselves we are the ones we are waiting for. And we've got to surround ourselves with people who actually do care about us. But this system is only out to deceive you because your ignorance is their power. Hmm. That deserves a slow motion, right? Right. <laughs> What's the ninth thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life? Just only brushing your teeth in the morning. Now, I used to do that. I used to, as soon as I wake up, I brush my teeth. Then guess what? I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have dinner. Now my teeth need cleaning again. I finally found out the secret, Deep Divers. What has helped me? Because people say, Ralph, have you had your teeth whitened? Like, how much did you pay, Ralph? Okay, let me spill the beans. Nothing. That's right. I've just learned the secret. If you want really white teeth, if you want good dental care, learn that after you eat is the best time to brush your teeth. It makes sense, right? You just eating food, you got pl plaque all over your teeth, then brush your teeth. But if as soon as you wake up, you brush your teeth, then you eat throughout the day, then you don't brush your teeth at night, you're going to wake up with health problems, dental health problems. <laughs> so what's empowered me, I still brush my teeth as soon as I wake up. But I'm also brushing my teeth after I eat any large meal. So, make sure <laughs> that you brush your teeth after you eat, not just as soon as you wake up, okay? <laughs> What's the 10th thing that you've been doing wrong your whole life? It is this, deep divers, following every single rules. Following every single rule. Abiding by all the rules, the laws. You see, rules were created to be broken. And this is why man-made laws and rules are always changing. And that's why one country can have a different set of rules than another country. And this is why they can change the rules at any time. So, for example, if I said, if it was an emergency, and I said, hey, you can't do this. You can't come next to a person. Social distancing. But if they need help, you got to break that rule. That's just common sense, right? Right. Well, certain rules, we have to remind ourselves are just rules. And we have to give ourselves permission to break them if we see that we need to. I never play it by the book, Deep Divers. I play it by my intuition. I'm like, does this make sense to me? Okay, I'll do it. If it doesn't, I won't, right? So learn how to, instead of just following rules, ask yourself, is this right? Does this feel right? And I guarantee you, this will help you become your greatest version. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Beautiful deep divers. I'm just...
Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everyone who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you are a sexy ass model, woo! With a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, go and buy some. Let me know why you have what it takes to be an Infinite Waters model, okay? Add me on Instagram, Deep Divers, for more daily inspiration. At Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, and Facebook, at Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, and Snapchat at <sighs> Good Ass Prana, baby. Check out the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful, life changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. They tried to bury us, they forgot we were seeds. We were doing it all wrong, deep divers, but at least now we know that there's always a better way to do everything. I love all of you, deep divers. May your day be blessed. One love to all of you. Peace. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You just watch me breathe. <sighs> Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I love all of you. Peace.